The Mini Ray 2000 comes with an instruction manual, a calibration certificate, external charger, CD software, data transfer cable, zero filter, and technical note TN-106. Unpack and confirm you received everything. Galson Laboratories will preset the unit to your custom settings or a standard setting of one-minute data logging intervals calibrated against isobutylene with a 10.6 EV lamp. To get started, push the on button and allow the unit to go through a minute of diagnostics checks. Once the unit has gone through the diagnostic phase, it will begin to take readings and data log results. Although Galson Laboratories zeroes the unit before it goes out, we recommend that you re-zero the unit before each day of use. If you have a known concentration span gas available, a bump test is also recommended. To re-zero the instrument, press the mode button and the end button at the same time and hold until data log paused appears on the screen. This will stop the unit from data logging and the unit will ask you if you want to calibrate. Push the Y button. The unit will ask you if you want zero air calibration. Push the Y button again. The unit will begin zero air calibration while you install the zero carbon filter. Attach the zero carbon filter with the arrow pointing towards the unit and press Y. The unit is now re-zeroing. When re-zeroing is complete, the screen will display reading 0, 0.0. Push the mode button until the unit shows the flashing L indicating the unit is collecting data and data logging the results. Remove the zero carbon filter and install the water trap filter. You can now move from sampling point to sampling point to collect your data. The rechargeable batteries will last approximately eight hours before recharging is necessary. When your sampling event is complete, you will need to download the data to a PC to print out a report. Galson Laboratories will download and print out your report on request. To do this yourself, press the Mode button several times until PCCOM question mark appears on the screen. Push Y and pause monitor question mark will appear. Push Y again. Attach the data transfer cable to the bottom of the unit and to the COM port on the PC with or without the USB converter cable. Load the software CD and follow the online instructions. Open the Communications tab under the toolbar, set up port, and select COM port. Press the RECV icon with an arrow pointing to the left under the Communication tab in the toolbar. Click OK and data will start to be downloaded. When data transfer is complete, the report will open up so you can save, print out a copy, or import to another document. When you have completed all report functions, disconnect the unit and shut down or remove the CD. Push the mode button once on the unit to go back to the survey mode. Hold mode button for five seconds until the unit turns off. Repack and ship back to Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat, 303-566-1000.